we have made it to 10 episodes of our famous, legendary, popular podcast, Trash Talk. This is a YouTube phenomenon by now, and we want to thank every single one of you for supporting us on this huge journey. Without all of you, we could not have achieved this milestone, and myself, I'm not the only one who is thankful. The other person is sitting next to me right now, and his name is JJ. JJ, how are you doing on this fine, wonderful Friday day? I'm doing good. What? You already said fine. I didn't want to produce any redundancy. Is that because it's a special day? That's why you're doing good? Yes. Uh, it's, sure. it's, it's that special of a day that JJ is doing good instead of fine. That's <laughs> how you know how special it is. 10th episode of Trash Talk, man. Absolute cultural phenomenon. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be any more proud of this genius creation of us. And that actually leads into the first topic. Best business plan we ever had. Get into it. So our first topic is actually guests who would like to have on the show. Yes. However reasonable that may be. <laughs> Obviously. Who would not want to be on Trash Talk? Who wants to be on Oprah these days, man? Trash talk is where it's at. <laughs> Would you like Oprah as a guest? Nah. I mean, it's fa famous. It's really okay, yeah, for drawing views, we sure. You could charge her a bunch of money. <laughs> what? What? She's got money, she's rich. I don't think that's how that works, though. Is that, is that not how it works? No, I You don't. invite people, right? Yes. I and guess. usually, if any payment is made, then usually the guest is the one we could paid. We could provide extremely expensive snacks. <laughs> and water supply, too. I don't know. Okay, let's get into guests we really wanted. So, do you got one off the top of your head? Actually, you uh, there's one that we kind of talked about before we started the show. That I know who it is. Interesting. Is he by... Any chance yes, possible, <laughs> the current president of the States United. Yes. That is assuming he still is by the time this video goes out. You think You think the peaceful process is that fast? Or Probably not. But so, some gunman might be that fast. Not, not just, no. Just making jokes. Just, you, know what, you know what, people? Don't don't shoot Donald Trump. If you, Whether you hate him or not, you don't want Mike Pence. Exactly. You just don't want Mike Pence to be president. No, but here's the thing, right? Donald Trump would be a very interesting guest. Of course he is. You know how often we have used the word interesting over the last 10 weeks of podcast? More than any other word. Probably. That's the word we use more than any other word. But it's fitting. It's fitting, but man. I mean, he's a controversial figure. <laughs> and, I'm, most. and I'm not saying that I support everything he says. I also don't say that... That necessarily I'm against everything he you says. You shouldn't support anything that anyone says because when you start supporting anything that anyone says without thinking about it, it's when you become a sheep. Yeah, but you know, my point is, right? Like, I don't agree with everything he says. I don't necessarily disagree with every single thing he says. Yeah. Uh, it's not like politics. It's not like a like sports when you pick a team and no matter how shit they are, you stick with them. Exactly. So... I think it would be interesting to pick his brains he a bit. He said the word again. The I word. Jesus Christ. Dude. So what? Uh, also an interesting candidate. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this way too much. We need to stop doing that at one point. Or we need to analyze why we're doing that so much. That's, that's a later that's topic. A podcast that, that's a, for that's, the future. That's a later topic. But that would be interesting. Right. Now you're just doing it on purpose. Yes, I know. But, okay. Yeah, Connaughton talking. Oh, you're talking to Trump. Yeah, so... I mean, imagine what he would say, right? The the stuff that he always says whenever he's public, thinking like I'm seventy <laughs> years old and the richest guy, like like one of the ten richest guys in the world. I don't give a damn anymore. And these people elect me president, like of all things, I can do. I can. I can. I'm the king of the world. I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. I don't give. I'm, I'm giving negative shits about everything. I just now realize that having Trump on here wouldn't actually provide that much that you are not already providing. Exactly. What? I'm what? saying you're an arrogant asshole. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> evidence, man. Provide some evidence. I appreciate sure it's self-evident. What? Uh, me, me demanding evidence? <laughs> me not uh, uh, adhering to baseless claims? Is that is that self-evident? Is that so? As last time I checked, 
Uh, the most important rule of debate was that that which can be asserted without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence. So where's your evidence? My evidence is pretty much all of the previous podcasts all, and probably all of the future ones as well. All the history? Possible. Uh, I'm not going to be the judge of that because I'm not I'm not that arrogant to assert that I would be that, able to judge <laughs> that type of stuff. But uh, the people might. You know, the people might. Let me know. Am I arrogant? Do it. I'm not, no, I'm, no way. I'm not. I'm just not. I just that that's that's stupid. Okay, here's what here's what I want to have uh, as a guess. One, I I do agree with the Trump one, but here's what I want. Uh, wait, we did not establish rules. We are going to go realistic ones, right? Like realistic in terms of possible. Like we're in not going to go still alive. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. Okay, I was thinking. Uh, so. Okay, just for pure interest and internet stuff, CM Punk, Phil Brooks. Oh yeah, obviously. I, that's the first name I came up with when we decided to do that topic. Yeah. I was prepping because it's the internet. I thought you were going to say something football related for the first one. I mean, I'm gonna, it's going to be more football. Like, it's probably going to be all football people from now on because we got to have a, a limited amount of time and there's millions of people at one as guests. Yeah. Possibly. We're going to do a million episodes of Trash Talk. But first of all, we're going to have to produce them more regularly because a million weeks we shall not live. Yeah. More likely than not. But punk. Because. Yeah. Yeah. Common interest of us, wrestling. Yes, and he can provide insight into wrestling and specifically his relation to wrestling. You know, WWE, what's what's going on there? What what he doesn't like about it? Talk trash about Vince because you know it's trash talk. Yeah, that that would be one topic, and then the other topic would be about him writing comics, right? That would be your your topic more than mine, though. Yeah, because if you if you don't know that CM Punk, he or Phil Brooks is yeah. his real name. He writes comics. But on the covers of the comics, it actually says CM Punk. Does it? Yes. What What did he write? Let you give insight on that. I don't know about that. He uh, wrote the Drax comic, which I'm not sure if that's still going on. I'm not keeping up that much. Is right that the big green dude? Yes. Looks like JJ Watt? You, are, you have said that before, yes. I've said that like way too often before, but like his name is Drax the Destroyer, right? Yes. He looks like... Te- okay, go hop on the Google, right? Open a new tab right now and hop on the Google... And tell me, like, look up Drax the Destroyer. How do you Probably spell it? Probably will show the movie version, though. How do you sp- Comic? Yeah, okay, you could type in comic as well. How do you... Uh, D-R-A-X. D-R-A-X. Fairly intuitive. And then you you pop up a new tab, and you, and you Google J.J. Watt. And pick the face where he's, where he's got the bloody nose and all that stuff, right? And then tell me that that's not, that's, that's not the same people. Also, if you just... Google Drax, you, you will probably come up with Batista. Yes. Playing the Drax yeah. from the movies. <laughs> hey, that's that's kind of a loop right back to wrestling. Yes. So purely okay. coincidental. Uh, yeah. No, it's not coincidental because that's what we have knowledge about, and that's what we tend to get back to anyway. Yeah. When we're talking about stuff, we tend to get back to the topics that we. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> CM Punk, your turn. So. Um. I, you don't know that person, but Matt Mercer. He is. I know that person. Oh, you do? Yeah. What, what does he do for a living? Uh, he goes to other people's shows as a guest. No. Uh, he's a voice actor. Yes, he does. So, that looks... That's pretty much what voice actors do. Yeah, I get... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got you, all right. Uh, although he does a lot of video game voice acting as well. But... I mean, voice actors would be pretty good for podcasts. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so... That alone would be an interesting topic to talk about. Interesting, you said it. I'm not even doing that intentionally. I know. Uh, And then another topic, which I would love to talk about with him, would be Dungeons & Dragons. Of course you would. Because he is the Dungeon Master on the very well-received show Critical Role. Oh, he's a Dungeon Master on Critical Role? You don't know what any of those words (laughs) mean, do you? Wow, (laughs) is he? Is he really? Also, not a dungeon master, but the dungeon the, master. The the dungeon master, like the one that's tough. The one on that show, yes. That's pretty good. Okay, I can see. I so can that see. instantly comes with two topics. That's that's pretty much Donald Trump right there. Like level, <sighs> po- the level of fame, popularity. Dude is the dungeon master on Critical Role. <laughs> the dungeon master. That's that's ten ten right there. That's <laughs> that's next level. Okay. Mm, uh, I'm not going to get into football players or football personnel. Sure, go ahead. Uh, give me Kyle Shanahan, head coach of the 49ers. Uh, he's a genius. 
Okay. I'm gonna say that right now. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if he's gonna perform that well this season because the roster sucks. But he's a genius. Let's talk to him. Why not talk football? I. I mean, I'd use. I'd take any NFL personnel. I'd take Roger Goodell. He's a commissioner of the NFL, and people don't like him, and I don't like him, and no one likes him, but he's, for lack of a better word, an interesting person. See? Yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's, that's what I said. Yeah. That's it, the thing, right? It's, it's unavoidable, because you can't think of too many good adjectives for too many things, right? So you just say interesting, because that's, that's kind of neutral. You don't judge, you know? Well, depending on how you say it, but yeah. It, what do you mean? Well, for example, we previously, I think it was before we started recording, you mentioned Nikola Tesla. Oh, yeah. And I said that, yeah, he's an interesting person. Which he is. Yeah, but you know that I'm saying he's weird, right? Of course. Yeah. But he's also great. Yeah. Which, bo- which both makes him interesting. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing. I mean, okay, if you want to describe... I would describe Kyle Shanahan as interesting to me, whereas Tesla, interesting. <laughs> you know, it's intonation. That's what I was saying, depending yeah. on how you say it. All right, if you want... Okay, so we're going to describe every future guest that we're going to announce <laughs> with, in the different with pitch a different picture. different pronunciation of interest. <laughs> just, to, uh, just to understand what we, what we want of them. <laughs> I mean, okay, so you got someone else who might be... Some type of interesting. <laughs> um, let's think. Is there anyone that we both would want on there? Because otherwise, it's just us describing a person, each one of us, and then going yeah. back and forth. Maybe just people to draw views, like specifically oh. very famous people. Uh, talking about wrestling. Yeah. How cool would it be to have Vince on here? Oh man, Vince McMahon. Mr. McMahon? That would he's, be... he's also the crazy genius type. Yeah. Either either Vince or second best would probably the Triple H. Yeah. Because he knows his he knows his way around wrestling. But Vince, <laughs> that would be pretty good. And I'm not going to take away too much when I want to say that he's also one of the characters on whose show I would want to be a guest. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the second topic of the podcast that we get into later. Because we, we are... Like, for the 10th episode, we are pretty much uh, giving a, like a bit of a taste to our, our future as famous people. Of course. Yeah, this is what we do. I mean, it's inevitable. It's, it's unavoidable, man. We got, like, it's 10 weeks of podcasts. We got, like, 10 subs. Maybe more. At the point of recording, we got 10 subs. That's a sub per week. That's, yeah. like, that's like a hundred. That's, that's like almost, dude, that's like over 100 subs for when we do the 100 special. Yeah. It's tough. That's pretty good. We might actually, we might actually get, get a comment. At that time, oh, imagine would be imagine a comment on our podcast. That would be, <laughs> man. At that point, mm, celebrities need to need to buy a house in Beverly Hills ASAP. At that point, we've achieved everything we've worked for. Everything, like <laughs> making the money. Uh, another person you were mentioning, p- people we're both interested in. Um, I was kind of it's kind of weird that you didn't come up with that name right as you said that, but John Bon Jovi. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, for a lot of artists, including musicians, of yeah. course, I really honestly don't care too much about them as people, but I care about more what they produce. Yeah, that's the thing. That's right? the same we... reason why I wouldn't put most actors, because yeah. I don't care about them as people. Put I care a... about them as actors. Put a voice actor, but... Okay, uh... Yeah, but again, he he's also a dungeon master, and he... That's the part. No, 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 no. He's the dungeon master, you fool. (laughs) Casual. (laughs) No, but that's also an interesting thing to talk about. And I feel like through a lot of the stuff that he does on the internet, I also have at least a passing idea of what he is like as a person. All right. Uh, At least how it presents himself. He was, I was going to say about like musicians and and the John, the Bowie. Uh, we're going to have him provide the halftime show for a podcast. Like, oh, music, right? He's that's, gonna, we're yeah. Gonna, we're going to set up the whole the whole band <laughs> in JJ's room. Sure. Like, the whole equipment, like, the whole thing. <laughs> and it's going to sound horrible because of the egg. Like, the room's like, what's, what's his room? Like, 15 feet by 15 feet? It's not that big. It's not that square, but that sounds about right. It's not that big. It's not, it's really, maybe 20. It's not big. So, that would be great. 
though. Like a halftime show, but maybe just him with an acoustic guitar. Yeah. Like you could some of those songs, maybe a mildly toned down version of some of those rock songs. We can we can we can make that work. You got someone else? Um, talking about common interests, it would of course be interesting to have a scientist on here, specifically one of the interesting person. Ah, I said it again. Uh, someone with a personality <laughs> that you know is interesting. Yes, Rick, Rick exactly. Sanchez. Rick Sanchez. I was thinking more like real people, like say Neil deGrasse Tyson. I say that Rick isn't real. Yes. Are you saying that? Yes. No. Because, you know, he does a lot of the shows and stuff, mm-hmm. and you know, it would be. You know I that say interesting. Would it be possible to get Rick on here? Because you know, when Rick creates his own miniverse, or was it the microverse, and then that guy creates his own miniverse, yeah. and it's that's actually a theory, and I'm I'm. Uh, and we exist kind of in one of those there. microverses. No, but that Rick is aware of him being one of those people in that chain, so he knows he's created one, and that guy's created one, so. It's more likely than not that someone has created the universe that Rick lives in, yes. leading him to do that later on, making him uh, aware of the fact now that he is in one of those microverses, uh, which leads to him like breaking the fourth wall all the time, doing all the crazy stuff to ensure the show will never get cancelled. Because that's, that's what happened in the, the Ricks Must Be Crazy. Uh, all the uh, dimensional Ricks, like deeper down the line... Uh, continued their stuff because they knew that either they continued or they were going to be switched off. Okay. Right? So they were for like uh, Rick told the other guy like the in the universe he created immediately. Uh, like he went and the other Rick knew he was smart enough to know that if he didn't continue doing what Rick wanted to do with the energy, he would just switch him off. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that that's so that's that's what they that's what the theory and Rick knows. Uh, he's in this universe and apparently. You can travel through those, like, microverses. So someone in this universe would have created the universe that Rick is in. Because presumably that's the direct next But one. it's a different thing to physically create a universe versus to just write a character and universe. Which also brings up the point of having Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. Yeah, sure, on. sure. <laughs> exactly, but... <laughs> which would basically be having Rick on. That's a good thing, right? Rick would have to think that if he knew that he created universe, that guy in there created universe, that guy did a created universe... That's more than likely someone created the universe he's in, and yeah. leading them to produce power. And more than likely, maybe someone created our like real universe. In that exact, maybe we just like that type of microverse simulation. <laughs> Winning out, going off real far. Neil deGrasse Tyson, you said. Yes. Sure. He's one of the brighter minds, uh, in the world right now. Exactly, and it's not. It's not like we're just taking. <laughs> a scientist on the show who's not used to being on shows. Yeah. Because that could lead to some problems as well, but having someone on who's used to doing that kind of stuff... If you got one who's, like, and, complete behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly. Like Terrence Tao or something, yeah. So, I think for that specific category of people, he will probably be one of the best picks. Or yeah, also, of, yeah, he could talk. The yeah. man could talk, and he knows stuff. He's... He's great at entertaining and knowing, and that's rare. Yeah. Because most entertainers aren't necessarily the most knowledgeable people, but the most knowledgeable people usually don't have the public relations skill to yeah. admit that knowledge. And Neil deGrasse Tyson is one of the rare ones. Someone someone else, though, a bit more niche, maybe Brady Haran. Oh, yeah. Because we both like mathematics. Yeah. Common interest. And he's one of the greater, one of the better math YouTubers. As a matter of fact, most of the people he had on number file would also be valid candidates. Yeah, of course. Like the, the what's his name? The dude with the climb bottles? I don't know what his the, name is. The crazy scientist? <laughs> it would be pretty cool. No, but just like Matt Parker or something. Yeah. Would also be interesting. Of course. Talk, like, <sighs> Did it again. Yeah. Talk, have him talk about primes. Now you're making me conscious of saying interesting that much. You said it again. It just made know, it yeah. worse. Yeah, I know. That's usually what happens, though, is it right? When you, when you, like, okay, uh, you, you th- start thinking about something consciously, that makes it uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, don't think about the fact that you're constantly breathing. And then, then, then you say Thank it. you. Yeah, about to say, right? And then you focus. <laughs> Cause, all right, you know what? I've had that before. <laughs> With all kinds of things, right? Don't, don't think about you blinking and all that. Like, don't. 
Quick, don't even blink. Quick, don't think about cats. <laughs> that is, this, I think this is the second podcast that I referenced as that movie in any type of way, but... Okay, um... Yeah, right, Tom what? Scott. Tom's Ritual. Tom Scott? As have guest, him on. As a guest? <laughs> have him on. I mean, we could, we gotta do uh, a thousand more episodes of Trash Talk. We're gonna need a special guest at one point for every single one. Maybe Jesus? <laughs> Jesus? Sure. <laughs> We like for y'all, you know, we got an acquaintance in real life who's we who we call Jesus, which you th- have probably mentioned on previous podcast. I'm not implying that everyone who watches this podcast definitely necessarily have, definitely have at one point <laughs> watch all the past podcasts. But yeah. yeah, also fun fact: Jesus, the originator of the name Trash Can TV. Yes. Shout out to you, made us millionaires. Great man. Also, probably doesn't watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> probably not watching our videos. Also, probably not a great man in real life. <laughs> but, idea of his life, man. He, he came up with it. Can't take that credit away from him. Uh, are we going to talk more about people? Or we Maybe this leads into the second topic anyway later on when we're going to talk about people that we want to converse with in general on yeah. either our show or their show. That's more of the top, like people who we'd like to talk to or meet or whatever. Yes, yeah, so... Like people with. Want to go to the halftime show? Go to the halftime show because we got a game planned for you and it's a would you rather game because we really like to do quizzes and yeah. also there's a great opportunity every single time to find out stuff about each other that we didn't know before. Which weirdly enough happens quite a lot. It happens quite a lot. Remember when we did, what was it that we did last time? Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we did a lot of quizzes so still learning about each other. We got some nose prep. Five questions is would you rather. I guess people are familiar with that concept. But if yes. you are not, first of all, lift up that rock that you've been living under for ages. And second of all, we're going to ask you the other questions. Would you rather do A or would you rather do B? And the other person will have to answer, I would rather do A or would rather do B. That, per- that answer would have to be an honest answer. And if they are truly indecisive, they would have to decide. Yeah. So we're not, right. we're not going to take indecisive for an answer. We need it. We need it. We need concrete, honest, yeah, fair answer. Sure. Like, let's make that as a stipulation right from the go. You gonna start? Ask me a question. Okay. Uh, this is one that I think is kind of interesting because is that it? Opinions differ quite a bit. We're gonna have an interesting word counter in the bottom right at one point. If you want to do that, sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that either. Would you rather be immortal or just be as you are? Got a kind of similar one, actually later on, and that's wow. I'm, I don't want to say interesting, but that's that's fun. We thought of the same type of concept. Okay, uh, I actually like I should have made up my mind about the one that I put down because it's a bit different, but I didn't. So be immortal, like I cannot die under any circumstance. Uh, let's say as long as uh, I don't know. The problem is once you get one way to get out of it, you can just die whenever you want to, basically. Yeah. Because, I mean, if the universe ends, you would surely die. But the thing is, if I say once... What if I just took my brain physically out of my body? That, there are way too many loopholes in this. But the idea is that you would have to live for at least an extremely long time. Right. Or, as the other option, live your normal life. Okay. In that case, I would pick uh, the immortal, like, kind of immortal thing, because if there was a way at all to, at some point, die, I would pick that. Yeah, because... But you know what? We're gonna get into that a bit later on, because I formulated that a little bit differently. Okay. Okay, so first one for you, though, a little little bit more of an entertaining one. Would you rather take five German suplexes from Brock Lesnar... Ouch. Or one pop-up power bomb by Kevin Owens through the announcer's desk, and the desk doesn't break, or maybe it does break. Doesn't matter. Either way, it's hurting. Okay, it's probably the power bomb though. Probably the power bomb. Especially turns. if they if we doing that in the actual wrestling fashion where you try to avoid injuries as much as humanly possible. Of course, because. I think it's not that bad to go through an announcer's table. It's a power bomb. Yeah. It's a power, power bomb. But it's one power bomb. Yeah, it's five Germans. So you're getting dropped on that, your... That kind of reminds me of the whole thing about, like, uh, rather fight, like, a bunch of, like, 
duck-sized humans or human-sized ducks or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, horse-sized ducks or duck-sized horses. Oh, yeah, horses. that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. So you're taking the power bomb? Yes, I'm taking the power bomb. Over five Germans? Yes. I don't know what I would do. I might have to think about it. I mean, I don't. I really don't want to take like a German and say, let, leave it on, let it on five by Brock. Exactly. It's tough. But I don't want to be power bomb either. But I would kind of do that too. Like uh, say what we would like to rather do when we ask the question. We can do that. We can do that. So I, I need to make a decision too. So well, I would have to say whether I want to be mortal or not as well. Which, Which don't do that because I got a okay, that's a question. Sure. Um, probably taking the power bomb too. Yeah, see, just probably just taking the power bomb. It's not getting tossed around that much. It's just one time and it's over. Exactly. With the, with the suplex with Germany take the first one and the horse like shit. They're like I'm, four more of those, and then yeah, right. So yeah, power bomb. Would you rather be famous for something you didn't do, like something positive, of course? Yeah. Or would you rather do something positive but not be famous for it? How is that a question? How is that even a question? Obviously the first one. Like, obviously. I'm famous. And I'm popular, right? That's a good thing. I'm doing a good... Uh, it's a good thing and I'm popular for it. Definitely. Yeah, but you didn't do it. You basically... You, Does you said, anyone know I didn't do it? No, that's the point. Otherwise, you would be popular. That? Okay. I think... If you can m make use out of the popularity, like money, uh, absolutely. Then I would also even take, if not, I'll take it. Then I would take it. Personal benefit. But if it was just about being well known, I'd rather not. Where would altruism get you there? Like you, you like the, the first. It, it, it might sound egotistical, but the first thing you got to look out in life for is yourself. Yeah, sure, but if you, do, if you can't is, make any money out of being famous, what's the point of being famous is, except is, for being harassed yeah, by people all the time? Like, the thing is, the moral problem isn't that big considering that no matter if you're famous for it or not, the good thing has been done. Just depends on who did it. right? If you're, if you're famous for it, you did the good thing and you're famous for it. If, you're not, if, if, if the other way around, still the good thing is done. So it's not like there there's less good things done yeah, in one option. Even... If, as I said, if being famous does not come with any monetary benefits, yeah, then being famous is just the worst thing ever. Why is that? Because if people you, harass you all the fucking you time and you're not getting anything out of if it. If you're popular, though, and usually when you're famous and popular, it does come with monetary benefits. When is that never, never not the yeah, case? That's what I said. If it comes with monetary benefits, I will do it. Otherwise, no. I will definitely do it. I definitely will do it. Okay, um, so we both answer that one. Okay. This is related to our channel and our bright future okay. as a channel. Would you rather get beat up in a cage match or never make 1 million subscribers? Oh. Because one of those will happen. I mean, it really depends on how bad I'm beaten up. You're facing me. Ah, I'll, I'll take the million subs. We'll take the million subs, about to say, right? I'll, I'll do it too. Also, I'm facing you, so <laughs> I was out of question. Take the middle subs, definitely. I would have, I would have beaten you up on the spot if you'd ever said the other way, right? So there's no way of avoiding that. Hit me with the next one. So, would you rather, for the rest of your life, have the only music you can listen to mm -hmm. be Bon Jovi, all right, or, or anything never be, but, or, but yeah, exactly, dude? All right, because Bon Jovi, we both agree. Our favorite musician. Yes. But it also greatly limits the choices. Yes. I, I will, as good as they are, I would have to go everything else. Me too. Because it's... Okay. Like, the if, if I was going to do the top 10 right now, which I'm not, like, the top 10, 10 of right now, probably four, like, three to four Bon, four bon Jovi songs. Yeah. So, that's tough. But... There's still the rest no of the guarantee, top 10. No guarantee that in 10 years that's exactly... I feel like it's the same way. And that's... I've mentioned that to you off the air. Legendary songs. Also... The Bob Dylans. The... Like CCRs. The Don McLean's. Also just the th thing that there is a limited number of Bon Jovi songs. Yeah. So... There's also a limited number of songs. Yeah, but not nearly as limited. Of course. So, uh, and some, what? Not nearly as limited? What, that, what sense does that make? Is not as infinite or not as not infinite? I was saying the there's limit. a larger quantity. Yeah. Come on, man. 
scientific accuracy much. Uh, because just you would at some point get sick of those songs, even if they are that great. I yeah, think. obviously. You could not listen to anything else. Yeah, you got like sixteen songs or some like the one excluding all the ones that you just flat out don't like. Yeah. No, I need to go the other way, man. It it will be either way. We will be a big hit. Like uh, getting rid of Bon Jovi. Yeah, tough. Uh, is is it gonna be the way that you lose Bon Jovi or Bon Jovi never existed? Because it never existing might be easier. Yeah, because yeah. Of, because uh, thing is in past, especially the other scenario where it's because only Bon Jovi, it, because, right? Yeah. Because. Putting on the radio and there's only one Joey running while you're listening yeah. to it? That's weird. Because gaining something and then losing it is probably... In oh, you, oh, you mean we never knew that Bon Jovi exists? Oh. Like it just... Yeah, either that or it just never existed. Because are we gonna, is it, oh, it's going to pop out of existence or is it going to be like we're going to be whitewashed and we never knew that anything like Bon Jovi... Ever, we never knew the songs, we never knew how great they were or they never just existed. Because in that case, it would probably be not that much of a difference from how it is now. Yeah, but I would think that either way, you would have to go with everything else. Of course, right? But that make it even easier. Yeah, yeah. So it pops out of existence right now. We we were aware of... Damn, that was... Bon, remember Bon Jovi? Yeah. But also, would we be able to remember the songs if they were gone? Like, you know... Yeah, mind? right, because otherwise you could just basically listen to them in your own mind space. Yeah, or just recreate them. As as best as possible. Yeah. Experiment, because... fiddle around with the instruments. We know the lyrics. Yeah, but we're not good singers. Yeah, that's true. But we can get someone to sing it for us. Yeah. If, if the songs never existed, we're the only ones who, who remember the songs. Oh. We can publish them and write them and and actually. But in that other scenario, that that will make Bon Jovi the only person to ever produce music. Yeah. In which case, we'd be even more special, <laughs> being the only other people to do it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or if, if we only have Bon Jovi, we could produce all the other music that there ever was. That's, that's what I'm saying, right? And we're that more, much more special because we're, besides Bon Jovi, the only people to ever produce music. That might be advent- advantageous because that way we can select exactly what type of music exists outside yeah. of Bon Jovi. So we can only produce the good stuff, which we wouldn't have time to produce anything and everything anyway. Yeah. That's way too much. All right, that's a good discussion. Okay, here's the one that you... Posted up for me in the first one. Is like, would you rather never die or die immediately? And by never die, I mean there is like your consciousness will remain forever. Like even if the universe ends, you'll just drift tr- through space. And Outside you- of your body, like you, like say you you have a like say you had a soul, like an actual thing that was a thing, and it could not be laid to rest. Like if I if I rip your brain out of your body, your brain would still be conscious. No matter where it is, it's, it's still going to be conscious. In that case, I'd probably rather die immediately. That's that's a tough one, right? Because forever means that, theoretically, the universe has a finite lifespan. Yes. So unless we're assuming the Big Crunch theory where there's yeah, another Big Bang, then there would be an infinite amount of time after the end of the universe. Yes. As lo- to the where degree that time can still be yeah. considered a thing. Where, where literally space- nothing happens. Yeah. That's lame. That is pretty lame. Man, this is a tough decision to make. It's probably the toughest on the list, but that's Although the question also is, if the universe ends, how is time affected? Because we're saying that the Big Bang also started time because of the inherent connection between space and time. So, depending on how the universe ends, would time also end? Okay, assuming... Henceforth, only making our existence till the end of the universe, because... Assuming, uh... The end of time, or the end of time never happening. There never being an end of time. Yeah, and that, that is, it's stupid to pick immortal, I would say, because so, the tiniest fraction of your life would be spent with, as a matter of fact, any intelligent life form. Yeah. Or anything to do. Exactly. It's like an infant. It's it's an infinitesimal amount. Yeah. Like, it's one over infinity, the amount of time that actually is useful. And, and I mean, that's... The like, rest is just lame. I mean, I can sit in a room and just do stuff in my head, like think about stuff or something, yeah. but I can and only do it for a finite amount of time yeah, and that guy's lame. before it gets boring. And when your physical body, di- body dies, you need to be either inserted into a machine or another physical body in order to communicate. Yeah, but that's not even the question because everything else ceases to exist. At one point. At one point, and you don't. Yeah. So, yeah. That is true. Okay. I'll probably pick that too. 
it's, it's a weird decision to make, but I'd pick it. Yeah. So, uh, I'll send to the last one. Let us know if you find a loophole in our logic, by the way. Just, why not? Make us look stupid. Okay. So, would you rather have Rick and Morty cancelled or there be no more wrestling? Like, no more wrestling at all? Be if I just said WWE, it would just be like, oh yeah, whatever, I'm New gonna Japan. watch New Japan, I'm gonna watch Ring of Honor, oh, or like okay. GFW, whatever. So, wrestling just gets outlawed. For example. Like, whatever it takes to and, have and, no more wrestling And shows. there's no loopholes for, like, wrestlers to, like, do it privately or whatever. And f no. Okay. So, Rick and Morty gets cancelled, like, right now? Or after the third season? Does it make a difference? If everything is concluded after the third season, oh. I'm happy with that. Like, I would say it either gets cancelled right now or after the third season without the third season being altered to suit those needs that would okay. arise from something. Alright. Man. Like, right. storylines are never going to get resolved. So either Rick and Morty or wrestling stops. Yes. I'm picking, I'm picking Rick and Morty to stop. Wow. Because, I mean, here's the thing, right? Rick and Morty will eventually stop. And Rick and Morty Presumably. will stop, a ve like, uh, like way before wrestling will, hopefully. Because wrestling is... Yeah. There's no no like, no like end in sight for wrestling. It's been around forever. Then, now, forever. Remember? <laughs> That's what it says. So, yeah, I'm picking wrestling. They provide way more content. It's, 20, it's like 20 minutes a week for like 10 weeks in a row every like two years versus 10 hours of content every single week forever that, yeah that's but, what that is but i would still pick keeping rick and morty like get rid of wrestling that's tough yes what what what, what if like rick and morty ends in like a couple of years seasons canceled shows canceled it's off you need you got neither but like chances are that wrestling will never cease to exist in our lifetime yeah but still i like rick and morty quite a bit yeah, I like and Rick, I, of course and I like Rick and Morty. I've not been that high on wrestling lately. But, like, there's, you could get into another show that you do like that. There might be another show coming around. Right? It's like shows. It's like, car like cartoons. They come and go. Yeah. But wrestling, that's that's more unique, I find. And I, I think it's a really bad decision to to be to go that route, man. Don't they? I, I guess you'd regret that at one point. And I definitely would pick that. Okay. Would you... <laughs> yeah, this is good. Would you like to forever be forced to use only Apple technology or be forced, to, Christ, that's bad. be forced to eat 10 apples every day forever? 10 apples every day. Alright, because it's healthy? <laughs> but you get sick of apples. Yeah, but... I mean, apples... In other case, you would just get sick of apple. Apples aren't that bad and I can't operate Apple technology for my life. Yeah, out of this. I just can't. But 10 apples a day every day? That's a lot of volume. Yeah, but I, I can do that. You might get sick at one point. I mean, if you're. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can cut it down or whatever, like fry them, I don't know, do different things. Exactly, there's so much stuff you can do with apples. Yeah. And even just... if I would have to ingest them as, like, just an apple. Yeah. There's still different types of apples. I, I don't know which one. I, I think I would pick 10 apples. But it's forever, though. Well, I mean, I'm assuming for the rest of our lives. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Like, no, no consciousness forever, no, but... Hey, we're consciously eating apples forever! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, your brain is still digesting. Now, thinking about that, some of those might actually be interesting if you consider them together. Interesting. What? Some of those might be interesting if yeah. you take multiple of being, those together. Uh, being immortal, but... Uh, but Especially I'm... the immortal one, of course. Yeah, the the apple. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know. Stuff I could we could probably learn to operate Apple and maybe maybe like the first still not a fan though maybe the first five years of our life would be significantly worse using only Apple technology but and way more expensive but the last fifty like when when you've had it with apples which that point will come and you like with the situation also there is the off chance that Apple the company yes. won't exist for the rest of our lifetime yeah. which would limit us to outdated technology. Yes, but here's the thing, right? Uh, the the Apple route will get progressively better, assuming that they exist, uh, continue to exist. And the Apple's route will get progressively worse. 
And whenever that break even point happens, when they both equally bad, and that time that's before half of the rest of our life is over, which it probably might be. Uh, I don't have anything against apples. I have definitely everything against apple. Eat ten apples for a year for every day of your life, and then tell me about it. I mean, everybody can still be around apples because at that point you might be sick of apples. It's like seriously sick, like like bruh. Weirdly enough, I stopped eating sweet apples after I hadn't eaten them in a while. And since then, I've only eaten sour apples, which is, was the exact opposite, weirdly enough. That's, that's where I so didn't right. eat them in a while, and I'm then cool I just couldn't you can, anymore. You can, pick, you can pick between sweet and sour apples. No, but, but, but that's what I'm saying, right? I didn't eat sweet apples for like a year or something, and then I just couldn't anymore, weirdly enough. Which is the exact opposite of what you were saying. That is crazy. Okay. I haven't eaten apples in a while. You know what? Like I'm not. A, I'm on a just. I'm looking at the bigger picture again, and I'm picking only apple technology because as mu much as I hate it, like five years down the line, I will be kicking my ass if I picked eating apples. <laughs> you know what? Because, like, I can know if it, apple technology does that mean like the hardware or the software too. I mean, if you have the hardware, I don't think you can necessarily get the other software I don't know if, it. if I can like uh, get buy an Apple p like computer if it's only hardware and we could install like Windows or Linux I, or whatever yeah, on I it yeah wipe it up then that was no sure problem sure it's not a problem yeah just, just look you just look like a douche with the Apple shit all over yeah and, and again, the mouses are a bit weird but that yeah. also doesn't seem that bad one button mouse fuck's sake uh, and um, it's gonna be expensive yeah horrible but uh, I'm picking all Apple technology because, long run, I don't think, like, assuming that I'm going to live for, f like, just say 50 more years, which is a, uh, you know, very, a very, which is a bit estimate. below average, I think. Yeah. But say 50 more years, it's not going to take 25 years for me to learn Apple, like, using Apple technology to the point where it is less torturous than eating 10 apples every single day of my life. Because the worst thing that could possibly happen is just quitting technology. Like, stop stopping using, like, phones and computers, which is not the end of the world at all for me. I would probably stop using technology over being forced to eat the same food in that quantity for every single day of the rest of my life. Because that's a burden. That's a real burden. Say you go on vacation, you don't you know, you got to bring apples. <laughs> you got to go to the store every single day because, I'll, I mean, apples rot. Not every single day, but yeah, every, every few days. You need 10 apples a day. It keeps a lot of doctors away. A lot of doctors. A <laughs> lot of doctors. Okay. Doctors will be out of their jobs yeah, without that, eating that, that many apples. That is true. <laughs> Shouldn't eat that many apples. Okay. Um, let's go. Um, oh, that's uh, it's my turn again. Uh, would you rather never play football, or you might be able to expand the question to sports in general, yeah. or would you rather never watch it again? Dude. Anymore. Give Dude. up watching or give up playing? Okay, no uh, enhancements to both to either side, right? It's like uh, if I stop watching it, like I can play it, but I get like like a le my level boost to the point where I'll be in the NFL at one point. It's like playing it at the level that I do. Yeah, of course you can improve naturally, but not like yeah. it's not like you're suddenly like super athlete. Yeah, but I'm probably not gonna improve naturally, like to the point where I'll be in the NFL. Probably that's, not. Ooh, that's that's tough. Um. Damn. Th that question can work either as okay, just again, or again, as looking at the sports. big picture, long run, and uh, again, in the beginning, it might be the worst choice, but in, in the long run, it's going to be the better choice. I'm going to give up playing because two reasons, right? I, I can play football for like 10 to 15 more years if I'm lucky before everything in my body collapses and I can watch it for the rest of my life. Yes. And also, it would be the healthier choice to just not play football at all. Yes. So, again, I gotta be intelligent about that and go that way. May, like, right now, I may feel about it when I want to I wanna give up playing, but in 15 years, well, like, say I give up watching, and 10 years from now, or maybe, like, this is the thing, right? Playing, the, the, the playing football choice is risky. Yes. Because, right, two weeks from now, I might knock myself out so hard that I can never play again with the, the concussion issue. Yeah. You know? And it's like, oh, now you can't watch it anymore. So I will continue watching. 
be clever about it. How about you? You, you do I, not, I do neither. He doesn't so. play football and he doesn't watch football. But let's turn it into something else. But if I, I had to choose to never be able to either watch it or never be able to play it, I'd rather never be able to play it because then I at least no one can force me to take those hits. Yeah, the the thing <laughs> exactly. The thing would be though, uh, like obviously it would be you. You'd have to do either. You have to start doing either one for you. Jesus Christ! I'd still start to watch it. How often do I have to watch it though? Weekly. Jesus Christ! It's a lot of work. <laughs> this is work. The other thing would literally it's kill work. me. It's work. It's work. How does it work? It's if you don't room. enjoy it, it's work. It's not work. Not work. Not work. And I would definitely not enjoy it. So, hey. but I would l- probably enjoy it less to play it. <laughs> yeah, because because I'm literally gonna kill get me. murdered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For okay. And no, I'm not using the word misusing the word literally. Are you not? <laughs> Doesn't kill it. That's not necessary. I mean, come on. In the long run, it does. Life kills you. Fact. Yes. Life kills you, no matter what you do. And the average life expectancy of football players is way lower than that of the average person. Average life expectancy of people who live like you, way lower. <laughs> way lower. Okay, um, we can do that for like a, a different thing though. Like the halftime show is longer today than all the topics. Yeah. But that's that's good. not bad because the topics good. were rather short. At yeah, least the halftime one. show is interesting, and we like the ba- said it, and we like the bait. So, we could use that for something else that you both like doing and watching. YouTube. I would rather continue watching than doing. Would you? But, like, that's, because that's our career. If, because stop, stopping to watch would cut out a huge chunk of my entertainment. But More time to put into work. But stop doing it for right now wouldn't change anything except for the fact that I'm doing it the time that I'm putting into it. Same. But right now we're not getting anything out of it. Same. And we don't know if we ever will. We might. But out of the entertainment, the entertainment value I'm getting. But you're never gonna get monetary value out of that. No, but I'm... But again, it's not a, it's not even the given that we're gonna get money out of this. Eh, who knows? We're just, we're just gonna be dedicated to it at one point. I mean, it gotta be. <laughs> Some, I don't know. That, that that should be like some topic which is equally important for you to do and watch. I don't know about Dungeons and Dragons. You probably pick playing it. Yes. And although that, it is quite enjoyable to watch. Yeah, there's there's not many things that you watch and do. Maybe like watch cartoons or read comics, something. Watch cartoons. Because mm-hmm. I don't read that many comics lately. Probably that's probably not going to be a good thing for you to pick. There, right? Is it my turn? I might, I'm proposing the last one, right? Yes, you are. Okay. All right, so here's another one. This, this is pretty good. You can either have... This uh, This is the one positive one, because all the ones, if you notice, were both uh, both negative consequences, and you had to pick which one was the least. Yeah, bad. I think I did more of those than yeah. positive ones This time, well. you can pick which one is better. So you can get one wish with the stip- with the one stipulation that, can, no that you wishes. cannot wish for number <laughs> wishes, yeah. or you get five wishes. With the stipulation that, first of all, no more wishes. You can also not influence your wealth at all. Also, so, so no monetary wishes. Yes. You cannot influence your health or your relation to any other person. With the wishes. Also, so no more wishes. what can I do with the wishes? Like, you purely can, altruistic stuff or what? I can, you can be like, I want a new monitor. But have, not money, but... Okay. Not, not, because not, at that point I could wish for gold or diamonds. Yeah, you can wish for gold or diamonds, but let's say I was gonna add the stipulation to like no infinite supply of anything. Yeah, but even if I get like as much gold as exists on the world, I would instantly be rich. Okay, let's say let's say then um, no value, uh, no no. Let's all right. Let's say no objects that you buy that you would wish for purely for their value to sell them. You could not sell anything okay. that you wish for. Like, you could not turn anything that you wish for into money. You could wish for gold, but you have to keep it around as the, the stone. Okay, uh, that's interesting. I wish uh, I would have to think about that. In general, if we go by how the media portrays wishes, in general, taking any kind of wishes is bad. Yeah. Because they're always twisted in some way. Yeah, you'd have to take the cursed object to Rick to get it decursed. But assuming that it... The wish works out the way I want it to, either way. Um, I think the five wishes I could work if I can still wish for physical things that I can personally get a use out of. Yeah. 
I could probably still work there because I could, for example, I could wish for a house. I, it shouldn't be that big because there's still like running costs there. Yeah. But uh, but a great house, uh, never never uh, or indestructible car that doesn't need fuel. <laughs> but no, not no means uh, infants fly or anything. So just regular car. But but even then, right, right, a lot that stuff alone, you could probably get equally as much, if not more, of that than. Although, mm. okay. no, no, I, I'll I take the single wish because uh, of one of the previous ones we actually had, in a slightly with the immortality in a slightly different way, uh, because I would wish myself to be immortal at good health for as long as I wanted to, uh, and in such a way I would add something that like people don't find out and try to like cut me open for science and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> Subtly being immortal. So, no one noticing. <laughs> Subtle immortality yeah. and good health. That sounds like the coolest thing. All right. uh, I'm not quite sure about myself when I wrote down no relations to other people. Does that mean no influence over other people? Because if you if you, if, you, if I wish and one of them could be uh, mind control of everyone. Like just like mind, mind control every every person. That would get tedious enough. That would be a though. cheat cut. That would be a cheat code, though, because you could just like control this person to give me all the yeah. money. I guess any given superpower would be really cool. Let's say no power over other people. Okay. Two. So, anything that you're gonna do, like wish for material stuff with the five wishes, I'm gonna counter by saying, take the one wish, wish for the highest sum of money you could possibly find without, without yeah. going to infinity. You can buy that stuff and still have nearly infinite money left. That- yeah, and again... Which is the thing that I would choose. The exact option. One wish, uh, all the money. All the money. But why wouldn't you... All of it. Why wouldn't you do something that, like, is good for... Like, something for your health and lifetime and stuff? All the money? It, when when my health actually ever needs it, like, in 50 years, science will probably pretty good. Yeah, but... For all the money? But even then, you would die at one point or another. Yeah. Without having the choice right it's like for mm-hmm. me I could just be immortal at good health mm-hmm. for as long as I wanted to but if I don't want anymore I can just say oh yeah I guess it's over now yeah. so for as long as like the world is going well or at least human society as a whole which you don't know if that's gonna be our lifetime and Some I mean I would potentially be poor for parts of that mm-hmm. I mean, people have lived through that. I mean, when you got five wishes, you could probably ask for um, all that health and stuff. The, you said uh, that, was, that was one of the stipulations. Oh, yeah. Like five wishes that I couldn't do oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry. Which is why the one wish. Yeah, the one wish. What would, what, what would the five wishes be, though? That's a bit... I don't probably all be like monetary things, which you could, as you said, With achieve the by one, the single yeah. money the problem. wish. Like the, the five wishes are too limited yeah. to really make work. You need to find a loop off of that, but if, if you find one that breaks the game, I might just add that stipulation in. Yeah, so, again, the one wish is just... It's so flexible that you could probably cover anything that the five what, wishes what, could give you what, and more. What number of wishes would it have to be for that to be superior? Again, with with the limitations, yes. it's pro- it probably doesn't matter. Because you said, right, anything monetary you can wish for... Yeah. You could just wish for money, although you don't know in the long run if money gives it its value, but it's unlikely it's, that yeah. in our lifetime yeah. it wouldn't. Here's but. my question, though. If you got all those wishes, and do you get to pick whenever you want them? Whenever you wish for yeah, them? Yeah, that's what I was saying. So you you got like multiple uh, wishes, you have more flexibility. So you got like a virtually infinite amount of wishes, not infinite because... But yes. So yeah. Virtually infinite. Uh, you can you can walk around your life always having wishes, like at all exactly. times being able to wish for stuff. But that's they're still so limited that I feel I could get more value. And for example, could you like could you use those five wishes and uh, say, you I don't wish I don't wish for eternal health, but I wish for science to be so advanced that Ooh. humans can be made like scientifically immortal. Then, then, then there would be all the kind, all the rich people getting use out of that. And again, I can't wish for could money. Could you? Could you be like, uh, no, like a super power like seeing in the future, lottery numbers. Okay. Yeah. All that, because you'd have to really test the boundaries of what works for the five wishes. Otherwise, the safe pick is the one: infinite money or approaching infinity. Um, the five wishes more intriguing. 
but got to be sure what he what he can gain with that. So that's more of a detailed type of topic. Yeah. All right. So that was a pretty good halftime show, and that was a long halftime show. But let's get into the rest of the podcast because we are approaching an hour. Yeah, I mean, those types of discussions we could just make an entire topic, topic out of. But yeah. we like to keep those games for the halftime show. And I think people enjoy the halftime show most. That's <laughs> usually the most entertaining part in it. Yeah, oftentimes that's true. Yeah. All right, hit me with your fact of the week. Oh, yeah, we're doing facts of the week. Uh, so, my fact of the week, actually, is that this podcast is being recorded basically right after podcast number eight. Yes, that is true. <laughs> With podcast we're... number nine having been recorded last week, two weeks ago. I think it's two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, it's two weeks ago. That's how fun our scheduling man, is. Man, we're, we're all over the place, man. We we need to really get some order into this, but uh, yeah, that is absolutely true. But we couldn't really do SummerSlam predictions like two weeks after SummerSlam. That makes no sense. We had to slot them in. All right, my fact of the week is that I didn't prepare one. Okay. And, I, and I realized that as I announced it like two minutes ago. That's a fact. I realized that I hadn't prepared a fact when we started the podcast. And I looked at the notes and I was like, oh, fact of the week is on there. I have no yep. fact. And I was like, well, I mean, it's basically a given. <laughs> Best fact ever. I have not, pre- have not prepared a fact. <laughs> That's our scheduling, though. We're not ready for this stuff. We just, you can't repeat those, though. No. Oh, you can't just do that every time. Like every single time I don't have a fact, it's a fact. <laughs> it's, it's always a fact. Yeah, but it, it gets stale. Doesn't. This show is supposed to be entertaining. Is it not? Are you not entertained? That's what I'm saying, though. If you keep doing that, no. <laughs> uh, pretty good. So, second topic. Second topic. Bring me into it. So, this was actually the topic you suggested. I suggested the first one. <laughs> um, and We're not building the... off each other at all. Like no. Uh, that is where we would want to be guests. Yeah. Which is completely different than the other one. Absolutely. No no correlation whatsoever. <laughs> okay, name a show. Like, we're going to show shows or whatever, where you want to be a guest. Uh, Critical Role. Oh, you mean... I'm such a nerd. Oh, you mean where this dude who is the Dungeon Master? <laughs> exactly. They play d and I He's... would love to be on there. Who, what's the dude? Mostly who's... just to play with those people, not necessarily to be on the show, but yeah. I, I guess. So you would also do that on, on our show? Like, invite the whole pack? Sure. And play a game on our setting, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, talk as Jericho. Okay. Talk as Jericho. Can you talk to anyone who's not a wrestler, though? My, would, would I? <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I do have other ideas, sure, but talk as Jericho? I want to be on talk as Jericho. With, like, a bunch of wrestlers that I get to choose and talk about all the topics that I choose. So... Y- Wait, so you are choosing the topics and other wrestlers to, to be on there, yeah. so you basically are hosting the thing. I'm basically running the thing. So you're basically wanting to steal the format. <laughs> but it's still for talk. Yourself. It's still talk is Jericho. And he invites people. Like, he invites me with a special offer of picking everything else. <laughs> That's, uh, you know what? I'd be, I'd be happy to go and talk as Jericho with anyone that he picks or for any topic that he picks. I'm cool with that. Yeah, of course. Because it's Talk is Jericho. It's my favorite podcast outside of our own. <laughs> it's great. Love to listen to it. What else do you got? Ooh, what other show would I want to be on? Tough. It would probably be, and I know I'm saying it again, interesting. It's interesting. To be on Good Mythical Morning. Yeah, that was one I was thinking, and I was going to drop that later. But yeah, Red and Link. Pretty great. One of the one of the best like comedy acts if it's you know, it's comedy entertainment next time on YouTube yeah definitely uh, I would want to be on that show absolutely I was one of the YouTube shows I was gonna pick that okay next one this is kind of practical and really convenient but uh, who wants to be a millionaire oh yeah because I mean you got it <laughs> you got it right yeah make some profit out of it if you get wishes <laughs> hmm. would that be could that be a possible wish like, when you get pick the five wishes, be a candidate on who wants to be a millionaire. You're not directly wishing for money. Okay, yeah, I can see that, but that's, like, maximum a million. Yeah. And probably less. Like, get... Uh, okay, I mean, get the thing food, is, get... I would want you as my phone joker. Yeah, of course. Because you know a lot of random shit, especially stuff that I don't know. Depends on what comes up, yeah. Yeah, but, like, 
and you, the thing you is have like three jokers you can pick and then 14 can... out of 15 questions that come up and who wants to be a millionaire fall under the stuff that I would know and one of them would be the stuff that you happen to know yeah because my common knowledge like of general stuff is way better and you got certain topics where you're knowledgeable yeah but these are not exactly mainstream topics yeah exactly when it comes to like pop culture I would be way more knowledgeable than you Yes, I'm having a sip of my when it Coke comes right to now. Even though JJ said at one point that that was unprofessional, but I'm doing it. I love you just said it like a few hours ago when we recorded the <laughs> Recorded the eight. Podcast, podcast like, number eight, it happened too. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's, not, it's not the same bottle anymore, though. It's another one. <laughs> that makes all the difference. Um, so, anything nerd related, of course, I would also know more than you, but those are not the type of, sort of questions that come up on who wants to be a millionaire. Oh, who who is the dungeon master for one million dollars? It's dungeon master is a title given to someone who is no no no. Who is the dungeon master of that and that club? Yeah, like a certain person and a certain club, and who is the dungeon master of that? You know what's yeah. what's your what's your favorite dice? You know that type of question. That that's <laughs> not a who wants to be a millionaire question by default because it's subjective. Yeah. What's hey? What's your favorite color? Blue, green, red, or yellow? <laughs> you you pick one. It's like wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the like the impossible quiz. Oh god. Can we get close to that? Fun fact. Okay, that's my fact of the week. You know what? That's my fact of the week. We played that at one point. And we were trying to upload it, but then we realized we couldn't use the background music. Yeah. Because of copyright. It was the theme from Rocky, and we had it on the audio, so we didn't bother to play. We spent like an hour playing that game. <laughs> yeah. Man, we made, we had like one or two episodes, full episodes, and we realized we can't use that stuff. That was a little bit infuriating. Ah, it's okay, though. We, we're we literally out of all of the, like, all the stuff we upload on like Wednesdays and Thursdays and yeah, some this of the is Tuesdays. random games. We we, got we have some a ideas. bunch of those. Yeah, we still we still got some coming. Uh, that's another thing that could you wish with the, one of the five wishes? I'm st- I, we should <laughs> be talking about the second topic, but could you wish for like uh, free lottery tickets for the rest of your life, like every single week? Because that would be like or like who wants to be a millionaire stuff like if that. If you're getting one ticket a week, though, you there chances still are that you're not winning. Uh, a number of tickets approaching uh, infinity. That uh, because he wouldn't because be he, he wouldn't because be he wouldn't selling them. Some infinite, you just yeah. he wouldn't be selling them. You just uh, set up a possibility from yeah. You really like loopholes. Yeah, I mean uh, I do too. Which fat? I mean that, that's 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 what makes the world go around loopholes, right? <laughs> that's that, okay. Uh, where do you, would you like to be a guest on what show? It's a good question. <laughs> a really good question. Like a random lads mainstream talk show. Oprah? I wouldn't really care for Probably that. for popularity, but not that high on my priorities. Yeah, of course, like, if we can use it to promote our channel, and therefore hopefully get more yeah. viewers, and then potentially get money on that, sure, but, like, just for being there, I uh, not really care about most of mainstream talk shows. Not really, so what, what would you care Also about? don't care about popularity, except for, again, money. for making use out of that. Yeah. Uh... Again, a lot of those internet shows, but a lot of those follow the same ideas that we've already mentioned, like podcasts, like podcasts, D and D shows, you know that kind of that's, stuff. That's that's the type of stuff, right? I mean, who wants to be a millionaire? Is practical. Yeah, that, that one was good. Like every any, show, that any you other can win game stuff. show where you can win money. Every show where you can win stuff. That's definitely that's definitely up there. Especially if it's one of those quiz shows, and the questions they're asking are actually some that I can answer. <laughs> yeah, like specific nerd quizzes. Yeah, sure. Which is probably a thing on the internet. Probably. And we may or may not have to look that up right away. <laughs> uh, if we go off the air and record like five episodes. <laughs> Possibly not. That's the thing that he would do by himself, if I'm not mistaken, while I do way more important stuff like play Apple War. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Uh, okay, where would I be like to be guessed? Um, any show related to sports and football, obviously. That's, ter- that's like, I just got to get that in there. Yeah. Like ESPN Sports Center, like uh, Undisputed with uh, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. To be fair. The Shaq Report? Yep. Uh, saying one of the WWE shows would also be interesting. Not necessarily because I would want to be on air there, but, just, but be- because you would be backstage with all, all of the Yeah, backstage or just in the crowd, right? Yeah. Of course, like, a WWE show would be in there, like but Mania. 
again, I, I wouldn't necessarily care for being on screen. It would be more like yeah. meeting all the people. Yeah, uh, WrestleMania. Yeah. Let's pick WrestleMania, one that we would both go to. That would be fantastic. As a matter of fact, if we do ever go to WrestleMania, we just might be on the show. Yeah. When they're like doing the sweeping shot over the In crowd. The crowd, though, <laughs> yeah. We need to uh, bring a sign that's easily identifiable. What? We can advertise our YouTube channel with a sign. <laughs> you looked at me like, alright, I knew he's got something. Alright, cool. <laughs> we can have a huge trash maybe, can TV sign. Maybe by the time we actually go to a mania, we are already pretty popular. Because it's probably not going to be, like, the the first possibility like, is probably going to be 35. Because New Orleans, not that I'm not too hyped for it. I want it to be a really good one, actually. And I what, know- what if Brock loses the Universal title at SummerSlam, though? Which would have already happened when we released it. Are we story. gonna get... Like, who are we gonna get into because the then, picture? Because then... That was one of the reasons you mentioned previously on a... I think yeah. on a podcast as well. Yeah. Where you said uh, you weren't that hyped for it because of Roman versus Brock. Yeah, which is pretty much said still. We're talking about what if he does at, at a time where we upload this video. That's what I said, right? Already it already over. happened. But if right, it happened. We don't know. We just made our predictions like like an hour ago. Two hours ago <laughs> on another podcast. I don't know, but well, we're not gonna get that done in time, I believe. Too. And how's that? How's that work out with college? I don't know. We don't have. To, we we should do that. We don't have anything where we mandatorily need to go to, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, exams. <laughs> yeah, but is it during exam season? Like, maybe I don't, I don't, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't really think so. But no. you know what? We'll see. Maybe. maybe Sometimes during exam season. We should. We should do that. That's the type of stuff we should do once we start making revenue of YouTube, because that's the type of stuff where we can give back. Right, yeah. when, we, when we start making money off of YouTube, we can go to Mania and review it and vlog and all that stuff, and people get back for the for the money that we were to make off of YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's always what I like when when you're on YouTube and you you make money off of people watching you. Use that money to invest it to put out some type of content that you couldn't otherwise. Sure, but also oh, just good. in general, when you can make a living out of YouTube. That that gives you more time to do you to work YouTube, obviously. On YouTube. Yeah, we, so we, that itself. If we ever could do it as a full time job, that would be great. But also, we're already releasing almost daily videos. We are pretty much doing this full time. Like, yeah, but just imagine what we could do if we actually made money off it. Didn't <laughs> yeah. have any, didn't have to work other jobs, dude. We would be pretty great. I we, don't think if we would, if we would actually increase our output in. But rather, we would probably increase our quality. The quality, definitely. Probably I think I don't think we're lacking that much in quantity. It's more like maybe quality. maybe if if we did, we could just do daily stuff. Because if we could record like several times a week, which we could, we already record twice a week. Yes, but just as long as we have to do reviews. Uh, if we could hire an editor, yeah, would that would right. save me a lot of work. Uh, we could we could also that would just. Look better. I mean, I'm not saying anything yeah. against your editing, but I'm not. It's I'm not basic. a pro. I'm not. A, it's basic editing. I'm not a pro at editing. Anything. And again, the graphics I make very basic. basic. Hey, at least I edit. <laughs> but sure. I mean, graphic designer and an editor would be really great. That would be awesome. And we're gonna do also better uh, equipment. But, yeah, we're gonna do know. graphics design like a competition at some point too. Yeah. yeah we have to win a bit of a following. Uh, that's the thing too. Interaction. Just, just have people design our graphics and call the yeah. contest. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> So, uh, wait, are we going to do the song of the week next? Because we got off topic a little bit, and it's a long podcast again. Sure. Get a song of the week? I'm just picking one, because I forgot to pick one, but I'm picking <laughs> one right now. Okay, uh, have I ever picked as a uh, song of the week, Probably. I Pledge Allegiance to the Set of Rock and Roll by Kiss? Probably not. I don't know. People, has he ever? It's only been ten weeks and he doesn't know. I, I have a really bad memory. He does. He really does. So, hey, if I've never picked that, would you, that's would my song you, of the week. Like, Otherwise, uh Legit question. Would you, right now, if you set yourself down in your car, with any help, find the way to college by now? Could you do that? Yes. Because I would assume that you were really having trouble with that type of stuff. No, uh, that, that... You've been there way enough times to, to know about Yeah, it. yeah. That took me... Yeah. I mean, that probably took me about a month to... F- or. Although, to be fair, most of the time I didn't drive myself, so, you know. It's just, like, I don't have problems with that, but okay. Song of the week, State of Rock and Roll. Kiss. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Okay. 
So uh, I'm right. crossing Reborn's like Born right. to Follow off the list right now because I had that last time. Well, in the pocket of my uh, it's gonna be Run Run Away by Slade. That's also a good one. That is a top three Slade song. Yeah, I can see that. I would assert. Uh, outside of the obvious Mr. Jones, the mysterious one, and possibly Ruby Red. Ruby Red is the number one Slade song. That is not true. That is factually incorrect because you are neglecting the mysterious Mr. His name is John. The Mysterious Mr. Jones isn't even one of their best songs. It is by far the best song and the one Slade song that would come into consideration for a top 10 all-time song. By far. Again, best Slade song, Ruby Red. Give your head a shake. By <laughs> far. By <laughs> far the Mr. Jones. Like, <laughs> no doubt about that. Run Away, Run Away might, might be number two. Just might be. I I'm, might I'm have to go through the entire list because I'm missing something, but top five, definitely. Top three, more than likely. So, that's it? That's it. 